Get a free pack with 25 poses. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I have something special for you. I prepared 25 different poses for open pose and I'm going to show you the settings. You can download everything for free from Civit AI. If you're downloading the pack, it would really help me if you also leave a rating for the pack. Let's get started. So first, let's have a look at the Civit AI page. You can see here 25 pose collection. These are the open poses and I also include in the pack my PNG files you can track that into the PNG info so you can see exactly what kind of prompt negative prompt and settings I have used to generate all of my images now this is using ref animated I have also the prompt in here and the negative prompt and also some advice on how to get this better but of course I'm also going to show you in this video how I'm doing that how I get this very nice quality so what you want to do in automatic 1111 is of course you can use it with any kind of model but I use the ref animated model I have here my positive prompt my negative prompt now one thing I want to point out here that is a little bit special is for example here I have in double round brackets leaning against wall in my negative prompt so that the character is not leaning against the wall which can happen with some poses also here specifically with this image that I've created it can be that the arm on the right side is sticking out to the front but this is not what I want to have in this pose so specifically for this pose I am using the double bracket arms behind back in the positive prompt so that I get that result. Now let's have a quick look at the settings here. For the sampling method, I'm using Euler A. I'm using 20 sampling steps. I'm using restore phase and the high res fix. For that, I'm using the 4X ultra sharp upscaler. I have my denoise at 0.2 and my upscale at two times. This will highly improve how good the image looks also the face and all of the details there because this is then also upscale to a higher resolution and just gives you much much better quality which specifically works very well also with the ref animated model but also with other models out there but this is a very good trick to have that to get in text to image render great quality at the first attempt already. Now down here, I'm using control net, of course, and here I'm loading the image directly into the input. Now, because we have an open pose already in the input for your settings, you want to set the preprocessor to none and then the model to open pose, of course. I would suggest you click here on pixel perfect for the size. And then for the control node, I have selected balance for the resize mode I have selected crop and resize all of my poses are for 512 by 768 as a base resolution and then of course this is going to double because of the two times upscale in the high res fix next let's have a look at all the poses that I included in this free bundle these are poses you would usually use for photography they are very nice and dynamic but also in a way where they are not conflicting for the hands so of course I tested out all these poses especially with ref animated so you can see here every time the hands are not in a position where they usually conflict and ref animated is pretty good with hands to give you realistic hands also so in most cases you should get really nice results here we have something where the character is looking to the side also a very very nice pose and we have a lot more than that now often I also put the arm close to the hip in that case ref animated often decides to put the hand of the character into the pocket of course especially if you have a trouser with a skirt it might be hidden behind the skirt we have here poses that are close up some are further away some are a bit more than the upper body so there's a lot of dynamic in here but as you can see all of these poses are very nice and not something you usually would get right out of the box 
and they are nice photographic poses that are used specifically for female portraits. Here we have another very nice pose and as you can see I decided on a lot of poses that hide the hands behind the head or behind the body because then you can be sure that you get a good result almost every single time. Rev Animated is also pretty good at putting hands on the hip or having them hanging on the side so also in these cases you should get some pretty nice results. Some of the poses Poses are also close-up versions but you can use all of these poses, use a photo editing software and just crop closer into them to get a close-up of that exact same pose. And as you can see there's a lot of variety here, very beautiful poses, they should also work with all kinds of different dresses and probably also high heels so experiment with that and I'm looking forward to what you create. You can post your results of course in my Facebook group and also in my Discord and I'm really looking forward to see how creative you're getting with this pack. As you can see there's a lot of different stuff in there. I use the same prompt for all of these images with slight adjustments to get a better result. This is the last one that I showed you before with the arms behind the body so we get this nice post where the chest is pushed out a little bit and at the same time we have this dynamic step forward. Now here's something I want to suggest to you. Below this video I'm gonna include a link where you could submit your own poses so please use the full open pose map as I've shown you this kind of map that is black with different colored lines on there not a photo not a render so that I could then include that in a future version of this pack because of course in this case this is limited to what I kind of look for in photos but the pack would be much more interesting if it includes all kinds of different visions of what you can create with different poses. Now one thing I want to suggest here is maybe stick to something that is easy to render that doesn't have complex hand positions in there so that most of the time you get very nice results from that and the poses are easy to use because then we have a pack that most people can use and still get amazing results with that. I hope you enjoyed this little edition and thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye! Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool and yeah I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet and well um, yeah.